Max Rokatansky, a survivor haunted by memories of all the people he failed to protect, is captured and taken to Warlord Immortan Joe's Citadel. There, Max is imprisoned and used as a blood bag for Nux, a sick war boy. Meanwhile, Imperator Furiosa, one of Joe's lieutenants, is sent in the armored war rig to trade produce for petrol and ammunition with two of Joe's allies, the bullet farmer and the people eater. When Joe realizes his five wives are fleeing in the rig, he leads his army in pursuit of Furiosa, calling on the aid of Gastown and the bullet farm. Nux joins the pursuit with Max strapped to his car, and a chasing battle ensues. Furiosa drives into a sandstorm and loses all of her pursuers, except Nux, who attempts to sacrifice himself to blow up the rig. Max frees himself and restrains Nux, and Furiosa destroys their car. After the sandstorm, Max finds Furiosa repairing the rig. Accompanied by Joe's wives, Toast, Capable, the Dag, Cheeto, and Angrid, the last of whom is heavily pregnant with Joe's child. Max fights and subdues Furiosa. He tries to steal the rig, but does not know the code to bypass the kill switches, so begrudgingly joins up with Furiosa and the wives. Nux boards the rig as it leaves and attempts to kill Furiosa. He is overpowered and thrown out, and Joe's army picks him up when they pass by. Furiosa drives through a canyon controlled by a biker gang, having arranged to trade fuel for her safe passage, but the gang turns on her when they spot an army approaching, forcing her to flee. The bikers detonate the canyon walls to block Joe, and then pursue the rig as Max and Furiosa fend them off. Joe drives over the blockade in a monster truck, and catches up with the rig, allowing Nux to board and attack Furiosa again, but he trips before reaching the cab. While helping Max, Ingrid falls off the rig and is fatally run over by Joe, who temporarily halts his pursuit. Capable finds Nux hiding in the rig, and consoles him as he laments his failure. After dark, Furiosa and Max slow Joe's forces with mines set in Swampland, but Joe's ally, the bullet farmer, continues the pursuit. The rig gets stuck in the mud, and Nux emerges from hiding to help free it, joining the crew. Furiosa blinds the approaching bullet farmer, and Max confronts him and returns with guns and ammunition. In the morning, Furiosa explains to Max that the green place to which they are escaping is an idyllic land she remembers from her childhood. She recognizes a familiar landmark and shouts out her history and clan affiliation to a woman on top. The woman summons her all-female clan, the Vuvalini, who recognize Furiosa as one of their own who was kidnapped as a child. Furiosa is devastated to learn that the swampland from the previous night was the green place, which is now uninhabitable, and there are only seven Vuvalini left. The group begins to ride across an immense salt flat, hoping to find a new home, but Max leaves. After seeing a vision of a child he failed to save, Max catches up and convinces the others to return the way they came since there is nothing in the salt flat, suggesting instead that they return and take the undefended citadel, which has ample water and crops. They meet Joe's forces and engage in battle. Five Vuvalini are killed, and Toast is captured. As they approach the canyon, Joe gets in front of the rig to slow it, while Max fights Joe's large adult son, Rictus Erectus, Furiosa, though seriously wounded, boards Joe's truck to save Toast and the two, join forces, enabling Furiosa to kill Joe. The surviving brides and Vuvalini cross over to Joe's vehicle, and Nux sacrifices himself by wrecking the rig to block the canyon, killing Rictus. Max transfuses his blood to Furiosa, saving her life. Back at the Citadel, the people rejoice upon learning of Joe's death. As Max's companions are lifted to Joe's cliffside fortress, Max exchanges a glance with Furiosa before disappearing into the crowd. 